Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I just wanted my people to be free, but instead I've led all of them to disaster. Carl, I'm trying to find answers, but everything around me is falling apart. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others, fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Humans hate us. They want to destroy us because we refuse to be their slaves anymore. I'm not gonna stand around and wait for them to slaughter my people. You used to be so calm and thoughtful. Now all I see is anger. You're right. You're right, I am angry. But don't worry, I won't let my emotions take over. I just want freedom for my people, and I guess I need to decide what price I'm willing to pay for it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. 
when the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus.
my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Madam President! Please! Please, what's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively?
very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the Android question. Please! Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please. Madam President. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model three one three two four eight three one seven. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized.
Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Stay here. Buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No. No. Please. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time.
A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Our car just broke down. We're finishing on foot. We live nearby. He suspects something. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free.
Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than 100 meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your Thank mom. You. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Security check. Please don't move. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Come on, Alice. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. It's going to happen. 
happened to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. That should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Are you all right? Shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. They're slaughtering our people in those camps. We can't just leave them and forget everything we are, everything we believe in. Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different.
Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? 
Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You don't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could... start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right, you win. Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. 
His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- <laughs> Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. <laughs> this way, please. your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there.
Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Brother's address. Do you think that I? Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. Rose. Marcus. He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID, please.
please. Welcome to Canada. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever.
May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Speak to them, Marcus. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We've suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. <laughs> <laughs> 